Hey, Grace, congratulations on high voltage. Thank you. What's your name? Rama. Rama, Grace. Nice, nice to meet you. you. I saw the trailer. I haven't screened it yet. Looking forward to screening yes, it. It's, it's it, really good. It looks energetic. Very energetic. <laughs> Perfect for Halloween and for uh, thunderstorms. <laughs> there's, a lot of, there's a lot of thunderstorms actually happening in LA right now. Yeah. So, yeah. It's scary. Yes, exactly. Yes. Although, in times like that, I wish, like, oh, It'll hit me and I got superpowers, you know? Yeah, that? yeah, exactly. <laughs> superpowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so for my fans, what's your role in the film? What do you what do you play? Um, so the story takes them to like a fun party, a rock rock and roll party, and I am like the person walking around with a microphone and being a social media star. And so I have different things that I'm making people do and laugh and it's kind of like a long scene with with the stars of the film. So yeah. Are you yourselves? I mean, social media junkie, kind of like you are. You're active on social media? I get a little lazy with it, you know what I mean? But I do, I do no like problem. social media. Yeah, yeah. So what is it about the script by Alex that drew you to this project? Well, Alex actually is in, he actually created one of my favorite shows, which is um, okay. Project Greenlight. Have you ever heard of this? I have heard of on it. On HBO. Yeah. Um, so his script is really interesting and it is you're on your feet the whole time and it adds a lot of co components of comedy and horror and shock and uh, suspense I guess you could say so I like that about the script and I brought I, I enjoyed that when I read it too. Congratulations on High Voltage. Thank you it's very exciting. What's it like on the set? You know it looks electrifying. <laughs> it literally was. It was so much fun. You know, I got to read the script ahead of time. It was a very interesting story. It's something that you don't see every day. And it was a lot of fun being there. Um, it was my second film working with Luke Wilson. So it was fun uh, being back on set with him. And also um, working with David Arquette. He's so much fun. We actually have circled around. We've done a few events together. And then we showed up on set. And we're like, wait, you're in this movie. I'm in this movie. So that was a lot of fun. And just, I mean, hanging out with the, all these incredible people. And I mean, we were literally hanging out in this huge mansion filming on all parts of it. So it was exciting and a different um, experience. A lot of times you don't get to shoot everything locally in Los Angeles. So that was fun. Refresh my memory. Your previous collaboration with Luke. Uh, yes, was the movie Outlaws and Angels. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it came out a couple oh, years ago. That's actually my uh, very first movie. So, so was it like, hey, you, hey, yeah, you. right? And, hey, I'm back with a bigger part. Remember me? <laughs> so that was really cool. But uh, happy to work with him. All I know, of them, really. I know this is a supernatural horror thriller, but I want to ask you. Does uh, going through the experience of making this movie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. does it kind of give you a new perception about the life of a rock star? Well, I think it just brings kind of an interesting backstory. I mean, I don't want to give too much away because I want everyone to see it, but it really does give you the um, insight to a female rock star, really. I mean, it's this young woman who's taking on her career with a little bit of an edge that some people might not know about. Um, so I guess in a sense, yeah, it was nice to see a female version of a rock star and that experience. Brandon, congratulations on high voltage. I'm very excited yeah. to be here. Very proud of Alex Collegian. It's a, it's a long journey for him and uh, it's really cool to see it here in the TCL theaters. What is it about Alex script that drew you to the project? Well, here's the funny thing, is that Alex and I first met many years ago when we were doing a, a pilot for VH1. And at the time, Alex was the writer on it, and I was the host of this particular show. And he called me up uh, a while ago, and he said, look, we need you to play like a newscaster, the voice of a news guy. Can you do that for me really quick? So I jumped in a closet, and uh, I recorded into a, my little home recording studio, sent it over, and uh, he took it in one take. But... But really, I mean, Alex and I are both big musicians. We, I'm a drummer. He's an incredible musician. And that's one of the things about High Voltage that blew me away was the music. The score is incredible. And Alex was playing on it. He's singing on it. He's just, he's phenomenal. So couldn't be more proud of him and, and everybody involved in the, in the movie. I gotta ask, yeah. can you give us a tease of that news voice, what that sounds like? <laughs> Gosh, what was it? Um, something like... Intense weather, falling over 
I don't. I, 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 I have no idea what it was. It was something that it, he had me just kind of riff. Was so, there a reporter like to try to emulate for that, or was there? You no. Know, I mean, I, really, it's just kind of my own voice. You know, That's heavy weather, impending doom, and blah 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 blah. I don't know, some craziness like that. But you got it done, man. You got it done, man. Yeah. <laughs> just show me where to stand, and I'll say the words. All right. So, uh, because this is about rock stars. Yeah. What's your favorite rock star of all time? Well, my favorite rock star of all time, that's a really, that's a very complex question. Um, in that, I think there's so many different levels of rock stardom. Or, really? You know, yeah, I think so. I mean, I think that there's there's the iconic uh, levels of, 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 you know, Mick Jagger. Okay. You got that kind of swagger. You got, the, then you got the whole other kind of Jim Morrison thing going on. You've got the Perry Farrells. You've got the, You've got the um, Freddie Mercury's. There's so many. So my favorite one, I don't know. I think for a voice, I got to go with Freddie Mercury. He's one of the most inc yes. incredible guys. Um, he, he's just he, presence, voice, everything, passion. But the guy that always spoke to me was Morrison. Just because he was the kind of dude that if he wasn't on the edge, he wasn't close enough. And I subscribe to that philosophy. And I'm, I love to squeeze the pulse of life and, and uh, have a very visceral experience of this third dimension. I am looking forward to that Rami Malek, oh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, I know. Oh. I mean, incredible boots to fill. So you got to have brass cojones to step into those, that role. I know. But salute to you, Rami. <laughs> you look fantastic, my friend. Thank you very much. Congratulations on high voltage. Thank you. So I saw the trailer, haven't screened the film yet, looking forward to it. Uh, can you explain to my fans your character? What do you play? I play Scott. Uh, he's kind of the emotional stability, I would say, of the film. He's, um, he's torn between uh, his home life and the lead character, Ali, who, um, who he kind of falls in love with. Are you generally drawn to a supernatural thriller like this one? I have I've done a couple of them, uh, but this one was great. This was, you know, it's a lot of fun. Everybody here uh, and everybody involved has, you know, been so much fun to work on. So, so what is unique about Alex's script? Uh, I've, I've read many uh, different scripts from Alex, actually, and this one in particular, I don't know, it had, uh, it had a realness to it. It had, it had something that I could relate to. I'm a musician, so, uh, so I could, you know, I saw the characters. I've been in bands my whole life, and they, and they kind of just leapt off the page to me. I said, I know these people. I know everyone involved, and, you know, I wanted to be a part of it. So how's Ali as the rock star? She's amazing. She's gorgeous. She 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 does a, a an amazing performance. She's uh, you know I don't know just really really strong in the film. And I have only seen clips of it, but every time I see it, I'm like she's the one to watch. Yeah, so. she looks like she knocked it out of the park. Yeah, she really did. So so who's your favorite rock stars? Who are your favorite rock stars? Oh man, They're, we're gonna be here all night. <laughs> There's uh, you know I'm a I'm a fan of the classics. You know. Of course, Zeppelin and Hendrix and, you know, oh yeah. Um, but I love a lot of stuff, you know. To me, Kendrick Lamar's a rock star, you know. He's one of the best rock stars out there right now. So, you know, I've, I go across the board.